no separation in the room where it's like this side is NFTs and this side is the you know the other guys. It's like we're all in the same room together. And I think that Sotheby's is sending a clear message that like mm -hmm. there is no more line. It's just art, and that's what's important to us. We don't need like a big thing, right? Like a long, oh, sorry. <laughs>What's up? I'm Ryan, aka Thank You X. I'm Sean, uh, otherwise known as Ocean. My name is Corey Van Lu. Hi, I'm Victor, aka Fawocious. And we're here at Sotheby's London for the Contemporary Art Sale featuring a bunch of really dope NFT artists. <laughs>
obviously like a lot of layers to my piece and my painting. Um, it starts off as one thing and just keeps building and building and building. So I started this painting, I painted it completely green because I was told that green doesn't sell at auction. So I was like, okay. So I made, I wrote green, green doesn't sell. And I painted the whole thing green and then started from there. What? <laughs> I think that in life, we are constantly shedding our skin and building new layers. And um, I think that it's called as good as you. And the idea is that you should always be as good as you, not comparing yourself to other people um, and embracing every layer of your life. And the NFT component is a floating cube with um, different elements of the painting floating back on to the cube instead of um, like falling off, it's building. And so um, I think we're constantly building and creating new layers. I work from photography, like I'll go take a photo of, this is me like dressed up in my studio, bring it to my computer and I digitally render it, project it onto a canvas and then I paint that. It becomes like this physical asset. I take a photo of the painting and bring it back to the computer and animate it and that becomes like the NFT. So I've been following Thank You X from the, when he first did the drop on NFT Gateway, I think almost a year ago, I always loved his art and I love the fact that in, uh, in the concept of making like physical work, bringing an NFT that is actually enjoyable in the same space as the painting, it was a perfect fit for this concept of like a diptych, physical and digital diptych. And then like I knew Feo Chose, obviously, and I know he was working on this very important Genesis piece, uh, this mis Mr. Misunderstood Sculpture. And that was also an obvious choice for, uh, for us to, to have it almost like as a centerpiece of this collection. My specific stance in the space is like trying to actually bridge that gap. And a lot of people say that, but I think that I was like really trying to be like, no, like this is one thing. Like this is, because the idea is like, is this now a digital piece because there's a digital frame in it? Is it a physical piece? Well, there's a digital piece to it, so. That was like the first piece I've ever done that's like, straight up just like actual canvas with like a TV in it or something like that. So yeah, it's the first one really. By leaning into the digital at first, it actually gave you the opportunity to like uh, afford materials and like give you the confidence to then move back to the physical. Mm -hmm. Once you were able to like be in your own place and like be like, oh, I don't have any rules anymore. I can do whatever the hell I want. Absolutely. And you were like, okay, now I'm gonna do both and there's no limits. Yeah, I think uh, for like the longest time, like especially like digital artists, we used to get treated like crap for so long. But now it's starting to get to a point where uh, everybody is like actually accepting for it. They're like, yo, these people are cool. And they actually like bring something to the table that's more than just like a video or like a gift or something like that. And they're like putting us in galleries and like treating us like royalty and just like accepting us for like the people that we are and stuff. and like actually giving us the chance to create new types of art. I think there is a great future for NFTs, for sure, in a sense that it's solving a huge problem digital artists had for ages to be able to sell their work as is in their digital uh, native format. I think that like auction houses like have a true uh, belief for the long, in the long term uh, strategy for this new uh, movement, simply because it is just about art. And they are like a great artists, and there are like some. Um, it's there are some great already demand from top contemporary art collectors. Kind of surreal, because I mean, it's like, oh, you think my work's that cool, and you're gonna put me next to all these people? Okay, cool. Now I feel I feel like I gotta like do more just to like even keep up the name with like the whole Ultimo thing. It's like. Oh, you guys believe in me this much? Now I gotta like make you believe in me more. Like From being stuck in my bedroom where like I was not allowed to leave, I wasn't allowed to do anything. It's like, I can explore a new country with my friend and talk about art and meet amazing people. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty educated, but like, I, I don't think I belong here. I would, like 12 year old me, 18 year old me wouldn't think I would, would make it here. But then like, you know, 25-year-old me five years ago, whatever, is like, yeah, you're gonna be there. So it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like surreal that it actually happened. And I knew, like, kind of knew that this would happen at some point. It just happened so fast. And so it's like, I wanna like, take this now and go even further, like. I think it's also important to, to point out that like, the art, the traditional art world is oftentimes intimidating. Like you walk into a museum, you walk into a gallery, and maybe you like a piece, but you don't know who painted it. and you kind of have this guilt of like, should I know? Am I, am I dumb for not knowing? Like, am I being judged for not knowing who this is? And so what's cool about this space is it's very welcoming um, with the NFT stuff. And like, we were talking about this earlier, how it's like, you know, there's no more 
intimidation. It's like we are like the, it's power to the creators and like power to people like coming in. It's collectors, everyone. Um, we all have an equal voice, and it's it's a really special space. <laughs> So, I'm home in Miami, and like, damn, damn, man, I was broke last year, <laughs> like so broke, so broke, it was crazy, <laughs> what the fuck?